Hello, my name is Oliver Blair from Massey University and in this series of tutorials I'm going to show you how to get a model from SketchUp, um, take it into Revit and then start annotating it, so drawing dimensions and, and detail lines and things on it. So for the first part I'll show you how to get a model from SketchUp into Revit and this is the best way I've sort of figured out how to do it. <coughs> so what you want to do, get your model. In SketchUp here I've got a um, the New York High Line sort of bench element. Um, just as a sort of a, a test, as an example. And you can sort of see there's some uh, components and groups, and then there's some things that aren't, just the, as a wee test. Also, there's some textures on it. So, how you bring it into Revit, you want to save it as version 8. So, if we go File, Save As, and then we want to go, um, I've, I've renamed it to New York Highland Bench version 8 and also you want to come down here save as type you want to make sure that's on version 8 right there so then we can go save I'll write that one yep cool now you want to go to Revit and normally we'd start off with a project but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start off with a family because what we want to do is load that SketchUp model in to a family and then you load that family into a project Okay, so new family brings up a list of uh, templates that you can use. Um, what I'm going to do is pick metric furniture. Open. There we go. And now we just want to import our SketchUp model. So we just go over to the insert menu item and then hit import CAD. And you will want to make sure that your um, files of type is set to SketchUp files. And where do I save one to the desktop? And I know it's this one here, version 8. Cool. And then also what I, one thing I'm going to change down on these options here is the positioning. Instead of auto center to center, I'm going to change that auto origin to origin. And what that's going to do when I click open it's going to import my SketchUp model and it's going to line up the origin in SketchUp with the origin here in Revit. So I know everything's sort of lined up. So not that important for this one, but if you have something that's you know set up really specifically, then that's a good option to do. Cool. So it looks like it came in. I can I can change my view over here. Right now I'm in four plan, but I can change it to a 3D view. And I think if I click on this, it will sort of zoom into it. There we go. And I can just left click and drag on this little uh, cube thing up here as well to sort of rotate it. I can see it's it's brought it in. It's a 3D model. And if I change my uh, my view template sort of options, visual style down here on this um, this little white cube right there. If I change that to something like consistent colors them can see it brought the textures in as well in a way cool so now what we want to do is we want to then um, create a project and load that family in and I'll show you how to do that on the next video